Welcome back. In this course, until now, we have been using an in-memory database. One of the things is you might want to connect to a MySQL database, a SQL Server database, or an Oracle database. The detailed instructions of how you can do that for that is present in the home page of this specific section. So if you go into the folder of this specific section, there is documentation on how to connect to MySQL and other databases. Spring Boot really makes it very easy to connect to other databases. So you can switch from one database to another just by defining a couple of properties and switching a couple of dependencies. That's it. That's all you need to do is to switch the database. The first step is to install your database and set up the schema that you would need, right? So you need to install, let's say, MySQL and set up the schema as you would need it. Until now, we have been using H2. So you need to remove H2 from your pond.xml. So where is H2 in our pond.xml? Just go to your pond.xml. This is where H2 is. So if you want to connect to other databases, you have to remove H2 out and add in the specific driver for your database. So for example, for MySQL, the dependency that needs to be added in is group ID MySQL and artifact ID MySQL connector Java. Once you do that, you can go in and configure the Spring data source URL. So in the application.properties, you can configure the data source URL for your thing and also the username and the password to connect to your data source. By default over here, we are setting the Hibernate DDL auto to none. What this does is it does not make any changes to your database tables. If you would want Hibernate to directly create the schema for you without you worrying about creating it yourself, then you can use a value of create. So over here, instead of none, if you put create, then Hibernate would look at your entities and would automatically create the schema for you. However, if you want to create the data and the schema manually, then the scripts are present in here. So this is your schema that you would need for this example. This is the data that you would need for this example. And the MySQL scripts are present in here as well. So MySQL, how can you install? How can you start the server? All the documentation is present in here, as well as how you can create a database and a user as well. So all the documentation for MySQL is in here. All that you need to do is install that change the dependency, change the properties, restart your app, and then you'd be connecting to your MySQL database. The most important thing for you to understand is the fact that this is a very easy thing to do. Any application can be switched from an embedded database to a real database in very small amount of time. All the documentation is present in the GitHub repository in the home page for this specific section. Until the next step, bye-bye.